guys, Bella's back here. So today I'm going to be doing a how I take notes on my iPad Pro video. If you didn't know this, I am a college student at the University of Michigan studying business and user experience design at the School of Information. Uh, today I'm just showing you the iPad Pro that I have, my Apple Pencil, and yeah, let's just get into the video. So just to start out, I'm just showing you guys my home screen. I don't really use many other apps for taking notes other than Notability, which you can see on my home screen here. Um, a lot of people like to use Notability or their other note-taking apps. This is the one that I found to be the most effective and useful for organizing my notes, even though my notes aren't that organized. I should probably clean them up a little bit. But basically, a lot of people, when they make these videos, they use the note-taking device uh, to make very pretty notes and for me I use my iPad Pro to take notes in a more practical manner um, I can give you a little bit of the benefits on why I think Taking notes on an iPad Pro or a tablet is better than taking notes on a computer in college um, And I will get into that as we go on through the video. I believe I paid about ten dollars for the app and I definitely think it was worth the money because I use it almost every day at school um, so here, like you just saw me do, I just created a new folder for YouTube just for the purpose of this video. But by clicking the settings or the tool tab on the side, you can pick which type of paper that you want. And I tend to like to use graph paper for if I'm doing calculus or any type of math homework that I did over the school year. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how I like using it to draw graphs. And this is especially helpful if you're studying something like economics. Um, a lot of people like to use their computers for that. But you can't really draw a graph super fast or construct one on a computer very easily. But doing it on Notability, you know, it's a great option for that. Here I'm showing you how if you press hard with your Apple Pencil, you can create a line and it'll automatically straighten a jagged line into a straight line. So it's super easy to create graphs. This is a lot better because it's a mobile way to carry your notes that's all on an electronic device, but it's all still handwritten. I personally am someone that thrives in writing notes by hand rather than listening to someone speak or uh, just reading something. Writing definitely helps me. And so just being able to highlight like I'm doing here, that helps me as well. Um, I think that taking notes on a tablet is a lot better than taking notes on a computer just because you're able to still get the writing motion like college professors and researchers will say writing helps you memorize things better so you're still able to do that type of practice while you're studying except you're doing it in a more efficient way on an electronic device. Some people will say that doing it on an electronic device is still not as good as doing handwriting notes. I'm not saying that writing notes on an iPad Pro or a tablet is better than writing notes handwritten on a notebook but I'm saying that I think it is better than using a computer as an option. So as you can see here I've been playing with the size of the pen tool and I also changed the type of pen tool it was so before it allowed me to write with more of an angle and it looked more like normal handwriting but the second option it makes every stroke look the same um, so then now I'm just showing you the different types of thickness of pen that you can use here I'm using a lighter one this just helps if you're trying to write in smaller lines and if you're adjusting the size of the lines throughout the paper. Here I use a thicker type of marker and I tend never to really use this thick of a marker unless I'm using it for highlighting. But yeah, there's a lot of different color options that you can use also that comes with the app, which when I use my notes, I really like to color coordinate and I'm not one of those people that makes my notes super beautiful but I am someone that likes to co color coordinate because that makes more sense. Um, a lot of people will try to do bullet journals or things like that on Notability, but I personally like to use my notes for practicality, and I'm pretty sure most people watching this will too. I'm not even sure if practicality was a word, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> As you can see, I'm using a light pink in order to highlight, and something that I wanted to emphasize here is that just like a normal highlighter, the more you highlight on a word, the darker it's going to be, almost like a bleed over the color. So it really gives the real life effect of using a highlighter, which I really like. And it's hard for me to show through this because it's an on-screen recording. But like on a piece of paper when you're writing with your hand, using the Apple Pencil, if you rest your hand on the touch screen, it won't automatically mess up your drawing because the iPad will usually detect 
that the Apple Pencil is what is detecting the motion and not your palm if it's resting on the screen surface. Here I'm just showing you how you can erase. You highlighting the erase button, you can just slash through the lines and that will automatically erase everything. It's super duper easy and that's one of my favorite things about the Apple Pencil. Some of you may be wondering for when you're exporting this, how would one be able to tell where the page breaks are? So here I'm going to show you. You can kind of see one line bleeds off to the ends of the pages. So the line I just threw the dash to, I am circling the edges of that line and that is where a page break would be. And if you were to export this as a PDF document, there would be a page break and it would print like a normal piece of paper. Returning back to the home screen of my Notability app, I'm going to show you guys how you can import a textbook or any type of document or article that your teacher might assign for you. So I can't really show you where I got this from considering I'm not in the class anymore, but if you, you can just import anything. So I imported this article obviously and you can always just save something to your Google Drive and then upload it from here. I was usually able to export from the computer onto this app because this app also is on computers so it's compatible in both ways but what I really like about importing articles or textbooks into Notability is that you can highlight directly in the book so it's a lot more eco-friendly in terms of you not having to buy a whole textbook and then having to sell it you can basically just use one online and it's super portable because it's all on one device. I like that I can highlight and I can also annotate in the book as well. So like I said, if you're trying to answer this question that I wrote in blue, but you put the answer above and you want to move it, all you have to do, once again, grab the scissor icon, circle the stuff that you want to move, and directly drag it, and it's super easy, and it makes the whole process so much easier, whereas if this were a normal piece of paper, you would have to erase and then rewrite. It's kind of like copy-pasting on a computer, except you get to keep your normal handwriting, so it's the best of both worlds. So for the next feature that I'm going to show you guys, I really like that you can do this. If you want to add a photo or any type of icon into uh, Notability, you would just go to the Add button, click Photos, Albums, select a photo from your recents or any other album, and you can place it. I'm pretty sure once you place it, it's basically embedded onto the picture um, because you're basically placing it there, but you can choose to place it over the text or under the text. So if I decided to place it above the text then it basically rasterizes with the background i'm almost positive i haven't really figured that out yet i might be wrong but i like that you can draw directly on photos i never really thought about this but a lot of people that have stars or any of those types of drawing calligraphy looking things on their instagrams i'm pretty sure you can do that through notability here because you basically just take the drawing tool and you can start to draw little icons all over the picture i started drawing a bunch of little stars all over the image and this was basically a photo of my friend when she graduated and me hugging her. Um, I like that you can annotate photos as well. This is super helpful if you're wanting to take a slide or a picture from a PowerPoint and if you don't want to import an entire PowerPoint from a professor you could always just take a really important slide or especially with math or science any textbooks anything with formulas. I loved copying and pasting the formulas into the books and then being able to highlight over them and add any additional information associated with those formulas. In addition to this, you can take your own photos. So here's me taking a cute little selfie as I film this video. Super duper cute, am I right or am I right? And then basically, again, you can place that anywhere and do as you wish with that photo. <laughs> and just to further emphasize that you can draw all over the photo if you want. Here I am trying to mimic what a lot of people do in photo booth and they draw the cute pink little hearts above their face. Unfortunately, I don't really look as cute in this photo as most of those girls usually look, but here's props to me for trying. <laughs> so just to show you what my actual notes look like, this is an example of something that I did for my exam three for econ. Um, my notes aren't super pretty, I just put formulas and I tend to, for this one I got more lazy so I only used the yellow highlighter, but as you can see I started to do some graphs. Sometimes if I don't have time, I just draw without using the graph paper, but that was because I was in a rush. The next example here, 
I imported a PowerPoint from my professor and then I added in formulas and I like to write in the lines. Um, a reason why I like doing this is because you can see here on the graph, a lot of things weren't labeled, but he labeled them on the board in class. So I was able to write directly on them instead of wasting time trying to copy and paste the, the graphic. I was able to listen and then add in the notes as he was speaking. That's why I like taking notes on the PowerPoint because I don't have to worry about copying at all. I can absorb the information and add whatever I think I need to add. And the cool thing about importing PowerPoint into a note is that you can add in your own notes at the bottom as well. Another reason why I really like Notability is because I sometimes will import practice tests in. I'm not going to really go much into depth with this, but yeah, you can easily import practice tests into your Notability app and you can, instead of printing out like 10 pages for practice tests, you can easily write in black or blue and then correct in red ink. Super eco-friendly, you don't need to print and you still get practice of writing directly on something that is just like the test. So if you want to print this or share it, you would use the share button at the top and to click email, you could see this as a PDF or any other file format. I tend to use Google Drive because it's easy to access from my desktop or my MacBook. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of different folders that I could technically import this item into, which would make it super easy to print um, or just to find on a computer as well where you can still edit the document. I honestly don't really have many more tips to say other than you could split the screen and read a textbook whilst taking notes in Notability. I unfortunately forgot to record that, but that is another thing that you could do. Um, but yeah, this is just my practical way of taking notes. I know it's not the most pretty. I know some other people on YouTube have made prettier ones. Trust me, I'm aware. But this is how I take notes, and I thought it was a pra practical way to show you guys. My social media links are in the down bar below if any of you want to see what I'm up to at the University of Michigan. But yeah, I think that is it. I really liked making that video, and I will see you guys sooner or later. Peace out.